The overall goal of this nutritional status-based copper reversion assay is to evaluate nematode responsiveness to an aversive chemical in a food source over a four-hour period. This allows for the simultaneous evaluation of nutritional status. This method can aid the field of behavior and neuroscience by identifying mutants that fail to modulate locomotory patterns in response to an aversive chemical despite starvation conditions. The main advantage of this technique is that it can be conducted over an extended time period which allows for nutritional status analysis as worms become progressively more starved over four hours. To prepare experimental organisms for the assay, Pick 10 L4 staged nematodes per strain 24 hours prior to commencing the assay to ensure that organisms are young adults when tested. For each mutant or control nematode tested, pick 10 L4s. Maintain L4 organisms using standard methods for 24 hours on standard auger plates, seeded with OP50 E. coli. Twenty-four hours prior to the assay, use a ruler and a thick permanent marker to draw a line on the underside of a previously prepared nematode growth media, or NGM plate, along the outer edge. Mark a midline barrier equidistant from each edge of the plate. Seed the plate with 50 microliters of OP50 E. coli on only one side of the copper barrier to create a uniform lawn. Use the marked lines on the underside of the plate to ensure the bacteria will not contact the copper solution. Make sure the copper solution will line the edge of the plate and form a midline barrier, and transfer the bacteria so that the copper solution will not contact